Hello, today we are going to tell you about how you can use the team features in a Pointo and make use of it to include more team members and uh, set appointment booking for various team members across your team. One of the important aspects of teams in a Pointo is that uh, you do not need to include them as the staff members. Uh, they can have their own separate dashboard, they can log in there and manage their abilities from there. Uh, this helps in the fact that you can add uh, many team members or you know outside members as well uh, where Shopify you know limits you to having 10 or 15 uh, in their highest plans. So let's go ahead and here we see the teams tab. Here we can see three things, login to web dashboard, purchase more seeds plus team member. So in our basic plan, uh, you know, we provide with three seeds uh, and you know, you can purchase more seeds uh, as and when you want. So we'll just go ahead since we have three seats available, we'll just go ahead and add a team member. So I'll just add an email, save. So here we see that the team member has been added. Uh, they will get a confirmation email where you know they can set their uh, account, set their password, and log in inside of that. So here we see the status is not verified, and we can remove or resend their email in any case you know they don't get the email. So I'll just go to my mail and confirm the instruction so here we see that you know welcome name and you have been invited to the organization you can confirm your account so if I click on confirm my account here I can see that you know I need to set my password so I'll just go ahead set the password Here I go in and uh, log into my account. So here, you know, I can see different stuff out here. I can see appointments, bookings, integrations, and FAQ. So, you know, again, these are the basic features that we have as of now. We'll be including more uh, stuff in the feature. You can also change the languages. So that's also supported. Now here we see that there are no appointments or bookings, uh, you know, that we have here. So we'll just go ahead and assign, uh, you know, a product to, to one of our team members. So we come here, you know, as we see, uh, we come to appointments and here we see our product you know this is our product by default it's assigned to the admin so we can go in here and we just have to refresh the page if you're not able to see in the tab drop down you just need to refresh the page and you know it should come up so here we'll again see that you know this has been changed to verified so this essentially means that they have verified and once they have verified then only you know you can assign a product or a variant to your team member so here I see the team member I click on save and close and that's it you know uh, the team member has been assigned so as I see here if I refresh the page here I can see you know uh, the product or the appointment out here uh, as a team member you know I cannot remove them I cannot edit them I can just uh, you know change my abilities out here so you know here again as I see you know these are the different abilities uh, I have all the features that my organization would have you know custom questions uh maximum appointments group appointments all the features that my organization has so if i go in 60 and you know again save and close this has been set so if i click on view in store uh here basically you know what would happen is uh, from the user side they won't see any difference you know uh, so the product that has been assigned is uh, you know this copy of and here you know they, they won't see any difference what uh, what they would essentially see is uh, you know the same thing the same calendar that they normally see and essentially they, they would see that okay you know this this has this has to be booked now if i go in and click on checkout and complete the process if i go ahead and complete the process make the payment So uh, once the process is complete, you know, I'll be I'll be able to see my bookings uh, in my dashboard. So as a team member, if I come in here and if I click on bookings here, I see, OK, you know, this is the booking that was done. Uh, this, this is the appointment name. I could manage them, reschedule, cancel booking. You know, we could do anything and I could see that, OK, you know, this is this is this is my booking. I won't see anyone else's booking in the admin. If we come here, you know, admin will see all the bookings, so they'll see all the team members booking. So they'll see their own booking. They'll see the team members booking. So admin has, you know, all the bars. 
out there now if i go into the dashboard again you know i can connect my google calendar so again this calendar is different from what we have uh, you know uh, in normally so again you know we can collect different google calendar so again we are bringing in more integrations more stuff uh, you know in, in our later versions we'll be able to provide you know store customizations uh, you know have your profile picture etc out there so yeah you know uh, the team suite essentially as of now allows you to do this and you know later on you'll be able to do more